From big snow years to wet winters, Seattle has had some pretty extreme weather records. The snowiest winter recorded at SeaTac was from 1968 to 1969. We got over five feet of snow. Normally, Seattle gets fewer than six inches a year. On average, February is Seattle's snowiest month. But of all the winters, 1950 may have been the most severe. That year set multiple snow and cold temperature records. Seattle's biggest snowfall day in a single day was January 13th, 1950. Our coldest high temperature was just 16 degrees on January 14th. And our coldest overnight temperature was zero degrees on January 31st. Overall, 1950 was Seattle's coldest winter too. On the other hand, Seattle's warmest winter was from 2014 to 2015. The following summer was Washington's worst wildfire season. More than 1 million acres burned. A couple months later, it swung the other way and Seattle had its wettest year on record. More than two feet of rain fell. That's nearly 10 inches above normal. Seattle's driest winter came in 1976 to 1977. About five inches fell from December to February. 